everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Lisa from Potsy Fetter, and I'm back today with another 12 by 12 scrapbook process for you. And I did scrap the picture of me in the hospital while I get uh, while I got um, a treatment done, and I did make that um, background um, just off camera before, and I did not use it until now. And that was just the packaging technique with um, with what did I use? My watercolors exactly. It's just my flying tag of watercolors with um, the packaging technique. Nothing fancy. And now I'm using this stencil with the heart bead in it with um, blue acrylic paint. And I did smudge it completely. And yeah, I didn't properly um, put down the stencil so that's why I smudged it and I did put on two of those um, like heart heart beat hearts kind of and <clears throat> so I set that aside to let it dry and for my picture I got um, a few papers from this paper pad it's called um, dots and stripes I think and it's just blues and reds and I did obviously choose the blues so I started with that um, pale blue um, polka dot one and then I used the darker blue polka dot one and then the tiny um, polka dots and I just layered those on kind of rather randomly actually didn't go for a specific order at least I don't think I did. I did think about put that putting that back there, but I didn't. This sticker sheet is from the Mambi 12 by 12 pocket pages kit, and it's called either Life is Good or Today's the Best. I don't remember. I have both, but it's from either one of those. Then I put on two puffy heart stickers as well. And how I am getting? What am I getting? I don't know. Oh, my background. So I wasn't quite sure how I wanted to put my picture and I wanted to try out, actually that's the only reason I used that. This is confetti glitter glue from, I don't know the company, I got it at the range. And this is like this blue and gold confetti glitter. And I really wanted to use it, so I put some on here in the corner, just completely random. And I did add a Tim Holtz Tiny Word sticker and also a blue staple. And now I am... what am I doing? Getting the background. Camera has a hard time, sorry about that. Oh yes, I did put on transparency, it's not transparency, it's, um, what is it? I don't know, it's not vellum, but it's, oh, what's the name for it, I'm sorry. I don't know, I'm sorry. So it's, it's like vellum, but not quite. And the acrylic paint still was a bit wet, so it's a bit crinkly. But I did trace the um, the paper and um, rather roughly um, and then I um, cut it out with my scissors and put that over the um, heart just to tone it down a bit and add a little extra detail and at that it was not supposed to be like perfect and it obviously is not and I put on my picture there in an angle and now I think I do my journaling well it's just one line with a uh, roller pen and this is teal Heidi Swap color shine really really love that color it is so pretty absolutely love it and I think I add a few more puffy heart stickers do I Oh, this is Stickies number 14 by um, Cassie Art. 
or however you pronounce that. Then I add a puffy sticker. I don't even know what that is. I think it's a bird or a heart. It's not a heart. I don't know. And some resin heart stickers. If I was resin, not um, puffy, I'm sorry. Do I add a Tim Holtz tiny word sticker? Probably, because that's just what I do. And this is a 3D sticker I got at Seaman, something like that. I never know how to pronounce the shop. I have multiple hauls from the shop, so you can check that out in my haul videos playlist. And I wasn't sure what to do, so I think I um, add a few hearts on the heart. Just, um, I think I just add red and blue, like three hearts at a time and, and the upper one the other way around, I believe. Big red and then small blue and small red. I believe. I'm not sure anymore. Yes, I do. And I'm using this white pen. is a tool picker pen for nail embellishments. And I always use that in my scrapbooking as well because it's very handy. I actually only use it there. So this is my layout for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!